My name is Kevin Ramchander. I'm a radiation oncologist here at the Cancer Center in Thunder Bay. My name is Margaret Anthes. I'm a radiation oncologist at the Regional Cancer Center. Right, well, we're, we're very excited about the way we give radiation therapy now. Um, over a decade ago, the, um, the techniques that we used were, were not nearly as accurate. We weren't able to um, target the tumors um, in the same fashion as we are now. Um, through the new technology, we're able to use CT scans and MRI scans to target tumors to accurately deliver dose where we want it, to the tumor, to the lymph node regions, and in doing so to spare normal tissues. We're excited to have a new machine that allows us to have even more um, advanced technology, more accuracy, deliver treatment quicker to the patients, and um, deliver all of the modern treatments that um, patients would have in even larger centers than we have, and keep these patients here in Thunder Bay for the treatment. Yeah, so as Margaret alluded to, the, uh, there's, and the major goal of radiation oncology really is trying to get as much dose into the cancer tumor as possible while sparing the normal tissues as much as possible. And so as technology has come out in the last 10 years, these machines can do a lot better and basically do, we can, allows us to do our job a lot better than we used to be able to. There's a number of new techniques and technologies in these machines that the old machines don't have that enable us to do this. Uh, things with fancy acronyms like IGRT, IMRT, uh, VMAT, uh, and all of these things uh, allow us to basically treat faster, more accurately, and spare normal tissue. The treatment might not change at this point in time, but we're able to deliver the treatment faster for the patient. For example, a head and neck cancer patient um, may have to be immobilized under a mask for up to 30 minutes on the old machine. And we know that with, um, with the new LINAC, we'll be able to deliver the treatment um, much quicker maybe half the time for the patient. So it spares the patient being in an uncomfortable position, um, being confined, and um, it'll, it'll be quicker and more pleasant for the patient. Radiation um, is given for different reasons. Radiation can cure cancer. So sometimes we use it to eradicate tumors to cure a patient. Other times um, treatment may be palliative. When cure is no longer an option, we use radiation to help symptoms, whether it be pain or it could be bleeding. Uh, it could be to slow the growth of a tumor. So those are the two main reasons. A few technologies in this new machine that weren't available in the old ones. One of them is a, a specialized type of what we call a cone beam uh, CT. And this particular is a, a clinician who treats lung cancer will be very helpful in actually localizing and focusing exactly on the site we want to treat more. Right now, our margins of error have to be larger than they will once we start using the new machines. And so that'll be very helpful in mining exactly where we want to with these new uh, cone beam CTs. Uh, another type of uh, uh, technology that's enabled with this is called the volumetric modulated arc therapy, VMAT. And that basically enables us to do a more specialized form of IMRT. We uh, are enabled to do this IMRT now in machines using technology called step and shoot. This new technology will enable us to actually change our beam as the uh, machine itself rotates. And in so doing, we can treat both faster and more accurately and basically makes our job easier to accomplish.